What's happening guys? It is, mm, I think it's Friday after uh, New Year's here. Happy 2015. Um, we're working on the truck cab here and I'll show you what's going on. Let's start with my new favorite toy. Yeah, I bought me a China Freight port of power I had a, an old Hein Werner one, but uh, the seals were leaking in the ram and uh, I pulled it apart. Got it setting over here. If anybody knows where to buy these packings at, let me know. Um, I know these have these uh, brass collars on them to keep that ram centered in here when it's joggling around. Um, both my straight ram and my spreader ram leak. Um, I have not taken this one apart yet. Uh, this is like taking apart a Chinese puzzle, literally. Um, interesting, but nonetheless, I need parts for that if anybody knows where to get them. Next of all, this is a, eh, it's a four ton unit here. And uh, I got the wide angle lens on here so the camera might get pissed off if I try and zoom. It'll focus, it's that kind right there. Um, when you buy those, you, uh, you, oh, I ended up adding a half a pint of uh, jack oil to it. It was low. It had almost nothing in it when I got it. And then, of course, you have to purge the air out of it. So uh, I got the little rubber puck on top of it down there, and I've got the little uh, foot on the bottom. I should probably have another 2 by 4 or 6 to spread the load a little more, but I'm just pushing this sheet metal. Um, I got the headliner out and the console out. Not really a big job, took me about half an hour because I've never had one out before. Um, those guys there were up in the little uh, cubby holes up top and I couldn't see them until after I took the little uh, cubbies out. Those were a bitch, that one did not want to come out. So uh, it did not break the console though, I don't know how. Here's the other one, still in there. But uh, that one's supposed to go right here, it popped right through the hole for whatever reason. And somebody must have uh, grabbed onto this a couple of different times in its lifespan. Because if you look at it, the plastic's busted out. There's a screw that goes up through each of the, these. And this is the driver's side. That's the only one that wasn't broken out. So I don't know. Anyway, back to the story. So what I got here... I'm starting to strip the paint off of it uh, so I can get my dent puller up here. But the biggest problem is it's oil canned. It's bellied out back here, and it's got a little bit of a doing a little farther forward. You can't see it because I got dust all over it. I'll clean it up and show you guys once I get it stripped. But uh, I gotta pull up. There's a pretty hard dent in it down there, and it's oil canned. It's oil canned right in here. It goes boing. So I got some shrinking to do and just get it close. Um, I could not let this go out the door uh, without fixing this roof, even though I don't believe it was in the game plan. Um, it's not going to take me much. It's got a bunch of dings in it, but uh, we're going to get this spot. It was caved pretty hard, um, but it was rounded. It wasn't abrupt. It was, you know, dished, and it's like something got pushed from the top and slid back this way is what it looks like. So I'm going to take, I've had that. That's got 36 on it. Um, this has got a couple single stage paint jobs on it. <sighs> One of these areas here the paints coming out of it so I may have to strip back a lot of the roof anyway um, it looked like it got a quickie Earl Scheib on it at some point in its life and I don't want it peeling on my watch so there's that I'm gonna take the DA uh, here with some 80 grit and uh, I got some 320 on there now but uh, at any rate I'm gonna strip that back and when I get the dent puller set up I'll show you guys how I'm gonna pull that um, you might have seen in the previous video what it looked like. It was just kind of smiled down. Um, and I'm sorry I didn't show you the beginning of that, but I got kind of in a hurry, as I always do. I was building a fire this morning. About 62 degrees in here. Yeah, almost 64. Um, I had a fire going last night, but I let it go out. Um, I was supposed to have some wood delivered today because the stuff I have is pretty junky. And uh, it's just, it's burning super fast because it's, some of it was almost rotten, but it's dry. So that's what we got for now. I'll bring you guys back in a bit. All right, guys, I'm going to do what I can for you here to get, get you a shot of uh, working on this. 
so in the last clip you saw I had the port of power and it's pushing up on it right here somewhere in there it's got a little give to it but there's uh, inner structure there uh, and it's supported with foam and the foam has broke loose for it because it pushed it down um, this area up here which I think you can see if I don't have too much crap in the way on that side of the roof basically it was real boing 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 you know and I've stiffened it up by shrinking it and I'm going to show you how I do that I'm going to put a few more in it because I got a good oil can over here um, it's going to give some I expect that that's not not terrible um, this is not going to be you know show car quality I just don't want it having that big wow in the middle of it I think you guys can see this in the clip this is the shrinking tip on my panel beater and basically you turn the dial on the machine to shrink and you use this side of it and it does a burst and it puts a little dot of heat on the roof and when it cools it strengthens it and it's not doing a whole lot when it does that stiff compared to what we're real stiff in here so I'm going to shrink some of this area up in here just a little bit um, mostly over here um, this is where I'm getting my boing out of so we'll just do a bunch more of them and kind of give them a second to cool or move over a little bit so that it doesn't stay hot I don't have all the e coat off of that, so it's not getting a good contact. Should get a better contact here, but you kind of get the idea of what's going on. this bad boy back on the charger too but um, I get, still got a little bit in there but I'll bring that camera up where you can see and basically that's how I'm taking all this spring out of this roof in that area where it was damaged got, got you guys up on a step ladder here so I'll take you down and show you exactly what's happened here so now you can see a little bit better all these heat marks from that shrinking tip and it's really stiffened it up in the middle so I'm going to continue on with this this is boring this could take me two hours to do and I'm not going to make a two-hour video so I'll just do little updates as I think information is important um, until I get off this roof because doing the roof it's just uh, well it's a pain you can see the ceiling is right here look how close we are to the ceiling so I'll bring you guys back in a bit all right fellas I showed you what I was doing up here with all the shrinking of the metal all those little dots um, I pulled a little dent up in the front did this I've got the port of power right in the center just barely putting any pressure on that inner roof structure and then I've come back here and one of your friends, when you're doing this kind of work, at least for me, some sort of straight edge plastic is probably not as good as a metal one, but this is what I grabbed. Um, basically, I'm just setting it across, letting my hand tell me where there might be a low spot, a dent. Um, I did sand a little bit and knew there was one back here. But you can see the little black dots. Those are marks with my Sharpie. Basically, we're going to get down at a level where we can all see what's going on here starting to see a little light under there basically where the light disappears I made a dot on either side of that straight edge that speed square there's probably just under an eighth an inch there uh, maybe 330 seconds more than the sixteenth um, so I made dots which you see and you can sort of see the pattern here 
of what the, what the dense shape is. And I'm starting on the outer perimeter and working on pulling it up. And once I get through here, then I'll do a couple pulls in the middle and get it as close as I can. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that. I'm on my tall ladder now, so I have nowhere to put you guys. Um, but we'll set the, uh, try and figure out a spot to set the camera down here and kind of let you watch for a little bit to see if you can see what I'm doing here. I don't want to get it too close to anything I'm working on. So here's where I'm at. We're going to take my electrode here. Let's see if it makes the camera go haywire. But I'm going to start inside of my little dotted in area. I have a lot of real estate here, but if you can see, I have the little foot. It's on the back rolled edge of the cab where I can get some support. Usually you would put that little foot on the eyebrow that goes around the dent, but this hood is so, a roof is so flimsy that I can't really do it. Now you can also hold up on this and sort of hammer down around the outside, uh, which I'm not going to really do because if I start hammering it, camera's going to start shaking. And I really don't want to rattle that camera off the roof. Plus, it's probably really loud in your guys' ears. So I'm going to do two more pulls. I'm going to take the straight edge and check. The other thing you got to remember, I've got the headliner out of this truck. If that headliner was in there, you'd probably set it on fire with this stud welder or otherwise. Now this has got a real good boing to it. Put your earplugs in, earmuffs. We're gonna stop it there, we're gonna check. I'm gonna turn you guys back off. Well, it certainly pulled it up to where I had uh, put my tool and pulled on it, but the center is still low. So I'm going to turn you guys loose and uh, see you in a little bit. All right, guys, I've been fussing with this for about an hour and a half now, and I've done the best I can outside. We're inside here. Sorry for the bouncy cam. Uh, basically, we have this support beam. I can't really back up very far in here. That runs across the top. I have the port of power with a piece of wood holding it up here. Um, it's buckled down. And I can't get it to bend up and stay. This is the dead center of the roof where that's caved. And I have like a, eh, I'd say a half an inch gap between where it touches. Now there's a little pad up there. I'm going to probably end up putting some structural foam up there to hold it up. Um, I have shrunk the piss out of this, and I can't get it to stop oil cannon. It's not bad like it was, but um, anything short of tearing roof skin off, I think that's where we're at. It's a work truck, so I just want her to look better than she did before. But uh, quarter power is working good. I don't even have to put the handle on the jack. Just uh, use your hand there. Seems to work pretty good. I'm getting tired of climbing in and out of this thing, I can tell you guys that. But, we're pretty close. She's got a little, still got a little something in here and a little something over here. It definitely, uh, it's good from far, but it'll be far from good. We'll get her. I firmed it up quite a bit here. Just once I get that center support there, so this isn't doing that. I mean, the sides are, you can see they barely move, but you also have a beam that's touching it all the way across with the little pads that touch up in here and I got nothing in the middle it's just it twisted it back and anything short 
of cutting this off, which I really don't want to get into. I, I know I'll open up a bigger can of worms for myself, but uh, we'll get it. Get some foam up in there, and I don't mean great stuff. I mean urethane foam, structural foam for crash bars and things like that. Try and support that up and give me something so I don't have all that. You guys know as well as I do, that thing gets out in the sun and starts baking. It's going to go boing. And when it gets cold, it's going to suck it back down. So we got it pretty warm here in the shop. It's still... I had it up to about 70 a little bit ago, but it's only like 30 outside. So we're struggling a bit. Just a little bit. Not terrible. So that's it for today, guys. It's almost 3 o'clock. I'm going to go get myself some supplies and uh, maybe we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. See ya.